This video gives you an overview of the Smart Admin Portal, where you can manage user access to software. When you get access to the portal and sign in for the first time at adminportal.smarttech.com, you'll see that the Manage and Software tabs are selected, and the screen displays a list of the software subscriptions your organization or district has purchased. In the Status column, you can see when the software subscription is due to be renewed. And in the Assigned Total column, you can see the total number of users who've been provisioned, that is, they've been given access to the software. In this case, 6 out of 45 potential users have been provisioned. Select Manage Users, and you can see who's occupying the six seats, assign users to the remaining seats, or remove current users. When you buy a software subscription from Smart, you get a purchase confirmation email. This email contains a link that takes you to that subscription in the Smart Admin Portal. Click that link, and you can claim your software, and then begin provisioning users using the tools in the portal's Manage tab. When you buy Smart Displays, you get bonus access to software. The primary method to claim your software is to use the unique URL in the purchase confirmation email, just like you do with a direct software purchase. In some cases, however, you may need to sign into the Smart Admin Portal and claim the software manually. To claim the bonus software manually, sign into the Smart Admin Portal and select Get Your Software. Enter the number of displays you purchased and verify the purchase by typing the serial number from one of the displays. Beneath the Software section is the Organization section. This part of the Admin Portal lets you see who else has permission to manage users for your organization. In the Organization section, the Manage tab is selected by default. Much like the Software section, this section shows you a list of organizations and users who can access software within those organizations. Click the highlighted number of assigned users, and you go back to the screen where you can provision users. But, if you click Administration instead, you'll see a list of anyone else who has permission to manage users or see subscription details. Click an administrator's name to manage the organizations they're assigned to and their roles and permissions within those organizations. Use the Invite button to send an administrator an email that grants them access to the admin portal. This concludes our tour of the Smart Admin Portal. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Smart Support YouTube channel and keep an eye on the Smart Admin Portal New Features playlist. Thanks for watching.